Now we will see what are the reasons for not obeying the Ohm's law. Those are said to be limitations of Ohm's law. Limitations of Ohm's law. The first basic rule to understand the Ohm's law is V is proportional to I and V by I ratio is constant. Graph should be a line or a straight line passes through origin. Sometimes if a conductor having some less resistance or not that much resistance to obey these things, the graph will be like this. It will go like this and from here see the solid line represents the linear resistance. The dashed line represents the original state of the graph which is floated for V and I. What we can understand from this graph, this is one of the limitations of Ohm's law. Here V ceases to be proportional to I. V ceases to be proportional to I. This is one reason where the non-ohmic conductors play a key role where they are not obeying the Ohm's law. In some cases, direction of voltage and current are always opposite to each other. We can see this uh, type of graph in semiconductors or diodes. A PN junction diode, suppose a diode. Diode means two electrodes, one P type of semiconductor and N type of semiconductor fuse it together, then it will form a diode. This diode can be connected in two ways, forward bias, reverse bias. Forward bias graph and reverse bias graph won't be same. For, you know, what will be the changes in the graph and what we can understand from this graph, we can see now. Though the second limitation is, V comma I are always opposite in direction. But the mag magnitude will be same because these two are proportionality ratio, obe obeying the proportionality ratio. That's why obeying the proportionality ratio, but they are opposite in direction. Best example, connecting a diode. Let us take a PN junction diode. A PN junction diode. The positive side of the junction diode is connected to the positive terminal of the battery that is forward bias and the negative terminal of the battery connected to the positive terminal of the diode is reverse bias means connection between the same poles is forward bias connection between the dislike poles or unlike poles is reverse bias in case of forward bias if you plot the graph for v and i the graph will be like this goes on increasing and continued goes on increases this is forward bias In case of forward bias, see the breakdown comes very easily and the current is goes on increasing. In this case also the slope won't be same, slope will be different because we should find out the tangent and from that we should find out the slope. In case of reverse bias means the poles are connected in opposite cases like this. Suddenly one breakdown you can appear. In case of forward bias, the current may be in milliampere's range. In case of reverse bias, the current may be in microampere's range. Maybe not, it's true. In forward bias, because of the connection between the same terminals, repulsive force takes place between the P and N type of semiconductors. That's why potential barriers width decreases. Then the charge carriers can easily jump from 
one semiconductor region to the another semiconductor region. That's why charge flow is easy. That's why within quick time, there is a drastic change in the production of current. But in case of reverse bias, it expands. The potential barrier range expands because of the connection between the opposite terminals. So in this case, there is a much force is needed to flow the electrons or charge carriers from one semiconductor to the another semiconductor region. That's why more amount of voltage is needed to exit these electrons from P to N or N to P. That's why this will come at higher voltages. That's why this voltage is called breakdown voltage. This region is called breakdown region. So here voltage goes on increasing but current is not at all changing. At one particular level, the current is current drastically changes are keeping down. So here we can say V and I are always opposite in direction. Forward bias, it is like this. P type diode and N type diode, it is a negative. The positive diode, nothing but the P type semiconductor is connected to the positive potential of the battery. This is forward bias. In forward bias, the depletion layer because of the force of repulsion, depletion layer compressed and there is easy to flow the charges from one region to another region. That's why a rapid change in the current for the given applied voltage. What is the reverse bias? Same diode or you can uh, interchange the terminals of the diode or interchange the terminals of battery. Yes, I, here I interchange the terminals of the battery. P, N, positive, negative, connected to the negative and positive terminals of the battery correspondingly. Here the positive type of semiconductor, nothing but the P type semiconductor connected to the negative terminal of the battery. This is called reverse bias. Why it is called as reverse bias? Positive of the semiconductor connected to the negative of the battery. In this case, because of the force of attraction from positive to negative, the depletion region between P and N expands. Means the width will expand. If the width expands like this, there is much gap to jump the electrons from one region to the another region. That means more amount of energy is required for the jumping of electrons. Maybe from P to N or N to that's why more amount of voltage is needed. Up until and unless that voltage is not supplied, the current will be zero. At particular voltage, the jumping is possible. There we can watch the breakdown region. So in semiconductors or in type of diodes, V and I are always opposite in direction. This is one of the limitation of Ohm's law in semiconductors. Next, we will see the another limitation of Ohm's law. GAAS, one of the semiconductor called gallium arsenide. This gallium arsenide having suppose if you draw the graph between V and I of the gallium arsenide character V I characteristics of the gallium arsenide where I will be constant but voltage V is variable expands down unless. here you can see the increase of the voltage here to here you can see the negative resistance region then it is moving up means for a given value of i name means some many voltage values exist means i is fixed i is fixed v is variable means given value of i 
many v values will exist the voltage values are continuously changing for gaas this in this case also ohms law is not valid so these are the limitations of ohms law semiconductors and some of the nonohmic conductors won't obey the ohms law next we will see the temperature dependence on resistivity how the resistivity or resistance dependent on temperature so the title is variation of resistance of resistance with temperature for some materials resistance is variable with respect to the temperature how it will be variable for some conductors resistance increases with respect to the increase in temperature some materials resistance decreases with respect to the increase in temperatures means temperature increases there is a possibility for the decrease or increase in resistance so collectively it is called variation in the resistance the expression to observe the variation of resistance with respect to temperature is given like this r t is equal to r not into 1 plus alpha into t minus t not what is this rt what is this r not what is this alpha it will be written like this what is rt resistance of a given material at temperature t resistance of the given material at temperature What is R naught? This is R naught represents the resistance of the given material at, at a temperature 0 or room temperature. It is also expressed as T naught also. Therefore, resistance of the given material at temperature 0 degrees or T naught. We can write that T naught is equal to 0 degrees or room temperature also. Means they will give the resistance of the given sample at uh, room temperature or at 0 degree Celsius. And they will ask to find out the resistance of the same material at some 30 degree Celsius or 100 degree Celsius. Means we can see the variation of resistance with respect to the rise in temperature. What is this alpha? Temperature coefficient of resistivity. Temperature coefficient of resistivity as usual this t minus t naught is nothing but the change in temperature some insulators having high resistivity when compared to the conductors we will see what are those insulators okay how the resistivity is comparable with the conductors and the remaining materials and this is the expression for the variation of resistance with the temperature if you like this video please give a thumbs up please subscribe to our channel to get more videos on cbse syllabus